Week 9, Problem 4. 500 turn, so 500 turn solenoid has a radius of 7 millimeters and overall length of 14 centimeters. What is its inductance? Okay, go back to the formula. Let's see, can I remember this? Can I remember it? Should I even try to remember it? Now there's a mu naught and n squared and a oh, over length? Maybe. I still have it pulled up. Let's see here. Mu naught n squared a times l. Did I? Ah, divided by l. Hmm. Should it be divided by l? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to say, yeah, mu naught n squared a over l. Ah, and interesting that's flux over current. That would have made the previous problem easier if I'd realized that. It's okay. Not important. Okay, so plug and chug. People still say that? Do people ever say that? Probably not the cool kids. Oh. All right. So we had 500. 500. So 500 is the same as 5 times 10 squared. Squared. And then area, which is pi r squared. Radius of 7. So we'll do 7 times 10 to the negative third. Uh, that's r squared times pi all over the length of 14. So I'm going to say, i just call that 0.14. Seems reasonable. Then I'll let Wolfram do the hard work for me. So simplifying this guy, we have 20 pi. 20. No, because I, I almost forgot that again. I'm just going to... 4 times 25 times... 49 times pi squared times, ugh, so tedious, so tedious, 10 to the 4th times 10 to the negative 6th, all over 0.14, okay? Simplifying, this becomes 10 to the negative 2nd, and then we have 4 times 25 times 49 times pi squared. Bum 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 bum. And we have, ah, so big, 4.84 equals 4.84 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4. Four. Got it. Times 10 to the 4th. Times 10 to the negative 2nd over 0 0.14. Okay, I'll switch this up. So this will be 14 times 10 to the negative 2nd. Cancel, cancel. So we have 4.84 divided by 14 times 10 to the 4th. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. So I could just take this answer, divide by 4. Yeah, maybe. No, divide by 14. What am I doing? There we go. 3.45 equals 3.45 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, times 10 to the 3rd. Hmm, is that supposed to be negative 3rd? Pretty sure I messed something up somewhere. Hmm, that is suspicious. Did I forget about the 10 to the negative 7th? I totally dropped that 10 to the negative 7th right there. So I'm gonna slyly put it back in as if nothing happened. And 10 to the negative 7 equals 3.45. 3.45 times 10. Ooh, I don't even know what that is. Oh, gosh darn dang it. Go away, you. Ah, now he's ruined everything. It's ruined. There we go. 3.45 times 10 to the negative 4th. Let's see here. So that measures. We're we finding magnetic field. Now we're finding Henry's. 
Henry's. All right, so we have, this is one Henry, and then we want millihenries, cancel, cancel. We get 10 to the second. We get 345, which seems reasonable. There we go, that's a much better answer. So now we have 345 millihenries. Okay, got it. Bam. If the solenoid is connected in series with a 2.5 ohm resistor and a battery, what is the time constant of the circuit? All right, so time constant. So when you have a solenoid discharging, then current is gonna look like this. Go away, you. Like that over time. You have your initial current, and then it's gonna slowly die off. Um, or if you have it charging, it's gonna build up like this. This is your final current. This is, and this time constant is basically going to have to do with how quickly it gets there. Um, if you want to think of a hydraulic analogy terms, how big is this water wheel that's spinning is going to be the con time constant. I mean, it's just a formula, and it's measured in seconds. So tau equals, I think it's L over R. So tau also equals for a um, capacitor, RC. Um, we'll work with that probably a little bit later. But I'm going to Wikipedia this just to make sure I'm not going crazy. Okay, time constant. Let's do solenoid. Nope. Let's do inductor. Aha. Bam. Right there, right there. T equals tau equals L over R or tau equals RC. It's this slopiness here. Got it? Okay. Um, so I should probably actually solve it then. So let's do 345 divided by 2.5. Do I have that saved up here? Nah. I'll do 345 divided by 4.5. What was the? No, 2.5. And that's in millihenry, so we'll get milliseconds out of this. L over R, L, wow, I really went overboard on that one, 2.5. Check back. Got it. And we have 138 milliseconds. Okay, I'm good with that. One hundred and thirty-eight milliseconds. So it's pretty quick. So if um, general rule in the in the Navy, uh, if you have five time constants go by, then you're gonna be it five half lives. I think it's five half lives. Never mind. Ignore what I'm saying. So, 138 milliseconds. Got it. And then we'll use that in equations later to figure out how much it actually decays or builds up. 345 divided by 2.5, 345. Yep, I'm good with that. All right, that's problem four on 